February 8th, St. John of Matha. The life of St. John of Matha was one long course of self-sacrifice for the glory of God and the good of his neighbor. As a child, his chief delight was serving the poor, and he often told them he had come into the world for no other end but to wash their feet. He studied at Paris with such distinction that his professors advised him to become a priest in order that his talents might render greater service to others. And for this end, John gladly sacrificed his high rank and otherworldly advantages. At his first mass, an angel appeared clad in white with red and blue cross on its breast and his hands reposing on the heads of a Christian and a Moorish captive. To ascertain what this signified, St. John went to St. Felix, a holy hermit under whose direction he led a life of extreme penance. While St. John was with St. Felix, the angel again appeared, and they then set out for Rome to learn the will of God from the lips of the sovereign pontiff, who told them to devote themselves to the redemption of captives. For this purpose, they founded the Order of the Holy Trinity. The religious fasted every day, and gathering alms throughout Europe took them to Barbary to redeem the Christian slaves. They devoted themselves also to the sick and prisoners in all countries. The charity of St. John in devoting his life to the redemption of captives was visibly blessed by God. On his second return from Tunis, he brought back 120 liberated slaves. But the Moors attacked him at sea and overpowered his vessel and doomed it to destruction, with all on board by taking away the rudder and sails and leaving it to the mercy of the wind. However, St. John tied his cloak to the mast and prayed, saying, Let God arise, and let his enemies be scattered. O Lord, thou wilt save the humble, and will bring down the eyes of the proud. Suddenly the wind filled the small sail, and without guidance carried the ship safely in a few days to the port of Rome, three hundred leagues from Tunis. Worn out by his heroic labors, John died in the year 1213 at the age of 53. Let us never forget that our blessed Lord bade us love our neighbor not only as ourselves, but as he loved us, who afterwards sacrificed himself for us.